I've been homeless for three years, and these people want to deny me of blankets when I'm cold. They need to just give me a blanket. That's all I ask for is a blanket. So why is they deny me of blankets or food when I'm cold? Don't deny me. Look at me. Don't deny me of nothing when I'm the real homeless person. You should bow down to me, because I'm homeless. And you want to not give me a blanket and not give me food. What do you, what do you got to eat? Look at me. What kind of stuff is that? Here, here, darling. You know what? You're cold. Let's do this. This look, look. Let's get you. You want to go here? Let's let's do this. Put it over here. Wrap it around yourself. Here. Put, look. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So Elizabeth's been coming around a lot more, right? So we're all more focused on her. It's not like, okay, I need somewhere to stay. She doesn't come and ask for help that way. Yeah. She comes and she asks for a coat five times. Correct. In food. In 60 minutes. So they're not gonna, they're not gonna keep her at the hospital. Someone presents relatively stable, they are going to release them. Yes. She's either in the park, she's sleeping with somebody, or she's sleeping with somebody for money. I mean, she, she won't tell me. She was just really dead set on traveling and going everywhere because she would see her mother. Her mother was going to come back to her. Now, her mother has been missing, missing since the age of four or six. Four or six, okay. Yes. I guess it makes sense that we're struggling because we're not used to a kid being this far Gone. And I will follow thee. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ the blessings and love of God his Father and the guidance and care of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Come on, let's go. No, no, I need you to get up and go outside. No, I'm going outside. Okay. Okay.